Pate makeup. We're going to start by doing the eyebrows. So I like to brush my eyebrows up. I've got this e.l.f. brush. It's a brow lift applicator. So you give them a good brush up. I've been seeing this latte bronzy caramel look all over my TikTok. YouTube is being like a trend at the moment. It's browns, caramels, look, no black. So many people have been asking me for tutorials and this trend, how I did my makeup anyway, so I thought it would go well. So I've got this e.l.f. brow lift gel with the brush. All the products I'm using, I'm gonna be tagging below, so make sure you check them out. I'll put the links down. Put the liquid on the brush part. Give that a good brush up, pushing all the brows up the way. I have had my brows laminated, so then you get a flat end and press that down. The difference, how that's really spiked. So now I've brushed it all up, we're going in, I'm gonna flatten that now. But you can brush them to however you feel that you suit. Next I'm going to conceal, so I use NARS, this is NARS Ginger that I'm going to be using in this one. So this colour is the same colour as my skin tone, so on this look we don't want to be going too white under the eye, we're going to be sticking to the like, natural warm under yellow tones, a bit under the eye as well. I also like to put a bit around my chin just because I get a few marks there. Blend that in. So I like to bring that under the cheekbone and that's how that's just like starting a bit of semi-contour. So for under the eyes we're going to blend. Blend all under the eyes well, wiping down onto your cheeks. So everything you always want to be getting to have it wiping everything up the way. So you're carving out the eyebrow. Doing that, we're going to add our foundation. So I like NARS, this is Barcelona shade. So I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. I like to do the face first to get it all fresh and then we'll go in with the eyes on this look. Because it's like a smoky, bronzy eye anyway, so you can afford to do the face makeup first. So spread that all over. Just around the concealer that we've already put on. Both sides. Make sure it's all blended really well. Blend, blend, blend. I always want it to be a milkshake. Comment if you know what that's off. It's a movie. Okay, right, so then we're going to go in with the... Uh, I've got the Huda Beauty bronzer. So this is a liquid form. We're going to contour with this. So we're going to take some on our brush. Again, pack it on the back of your hand. And you're just going to start off like if you use the eyebrow, the end of the eyebrow as a guide and come down, you don't want to be coming too close to the mouth or at the apple of the cheek. You want to be working from around here and pulling it up to your eyebrow, up to your hairline, sorry, as so. Same on your jawline, on the edge, under from under the ear, then round to the front and round to the other side. Again, other side. And then go in and blend. And come around the forehead. Like so. We're just going to blend that all in. Get your foundation brush and just go over your jawline to rub that down onto your neck. You don't want any lines on your jawline. You want it to be blended in really well. So you want everything to be soft. I'm going to get a smaller brush. I'm going to get a little bit again and we're just going to do a bit of nose contour. I'm going to bring that up to the eyebrow, connecting it under the brow. Okay, now we've done our contour to brighten up just a little bit more under the eye. We're going to go in with a lighter concealer. So I've got my custard medium one now, NARS in the pot. I'm just getting a little bit to go under my eyes. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to go in with our setting powder. I've got the Laura Mercier brush. I'm going in with my brush, getting like a decent amount of my brush, and we are swiping under the eye. So you're putting under the eye, and on top of the eye. With translucent powder, you pat it all under your eye and around your eye. Dust it off lightly. Done that, we're going to go in with our bronzer. Brow back, dark deep. Going to go in with an angled brush. 
go over from where we contoured before, so you're going up to the hairline, not coming too far down, remember, using the end of the brow as a bit of a guide. You're going to do a circular motion, bring it right up to the hairline, all on that jawline, circular motions, bring it down onto the neck and then round the hairline. And we're also going to go on the eyelid, so you're swiping up the way. So that we're going to go in with blusher. So I've got the NARS, NARS palette and I'm going with bronze shade up here because it's like a bronze glittery shade one here just going to bring that up it's like a highlight color too so just putting that on my cheekbones blending it up to like the end of the eyelid at the end of that brow then we're going to get a bit of the same one and we're going to brush it over the eyelids this is a start in the bronzy eye look so we went in with the bronzer now we went in with like our blusher highlighter we already started to get that like bronzy caramel effect so once we've done the face we've done our bronzer we've done our blusher we're going to go in with our brown eyeliner so this is 24 7 glide on eye pencil this is the brown so with this look there's no black with the eye pencil and we're going to walk across the top of the lid like so down into that inner corner then straight away you're going to get a brush and you're going to blend that the small call that in you don't need to go up higher up the lid you can so we can even come a bit higher this pencil is really easy for blending. And then we're going to come underneath. So you come on underneath that waterline under the lashes, connecting it from the inner corner, dragging it right under to the outer corner. Come all sort in your waterline. So you use really working this eyeliner to blend that underneath. You really want to just build up on the eyeliner. Now, depending on how dark you want to go, keep adding more. But for this latte look, we're keeping it soft, keeping it blended. And that's the difference between the two. So we're going to go on and do the other side. Now for like a bit of extra texture, and this has got like a slight shimmer in it. We've got the Tom Ford Spice Eye Cream Eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with this type of brush, and we're gonna blend this all over the eyelid, wipe it up the way. Coming in that crease now, and wiping it up for that extra texture of this caramel. Adding that extra depth. You can even bring a bit of this underneath as well. For my eyes, I really need that wing liner. Um, usually that's what I do, but on this look, it's, there's no blacks, so we're not going for that. But I am going to use lashes. So we've got the Bella Doll Beauty lashes here. I love Doll Beauty lashes, and they make such a big difference to the look. So this is what we've got so far. So that brown, bronzy. So right now, all we've used is a bronzer, a pencil, and a brown cream shadow. You, haven't, you, we don't, you don't need like a load of palettes to create this look. You could actually get away with just using the pencil and bronzer. So we've got our, I've just got a cheapy Maybelline mascara. Going on the underneath first is always a rule. The faces you put when you're applying mascara. <laughs> Can't help it. The reason you do the bottom first is because when you're doing your bottom lashes and you're pulling faces, if you've got really long lashes, which I haven't, that's why I've got to wear them. You can, they can go everywhere. Now, if you have blessed with lovely long lashes and you don't need them for this look to add that more natural vibe, Duo Eyelash Glue. While you're waiting for your glue to sit, we're going to do the lips. Cork Clip Liner from MAC. It's an old throwback. This is the perfect contoured look. So it starts off really dark. So you only want to do around the edges and then a little bit in each corner. Blend that in a little bit, like so. And then we've got Myth lipstick from MAC. So this is like a nudie pink and you're just going to put that in the center. Blend in with your finger. And then you just put some clear lip balm on top. Game changer, that is the Lift of the Latte combo for lips. So I'm going to stick on these lashes and then we will be done. And there we go. That is the makeup look complete.